Hello there, YouTube. It's Conspiracy Boy here with a uh, attic find video. So a friend of mine has asked me to root around to her attic and help her get rid of some stuff. So there's so much, I'm gonna have to be pretty quick. One of the first things was this. It's uh, Spears Games Creeps Castle. I have never heard of Creeps Castle before. Uh, the box is a bit battered, but the game looks complete inside. Still got what looks like the instructions with it, and a couple of the bits and pieces. You've got that. It's like a trap door piece thing here that must sit somewhere. Loads of dice. Four or five of those. A couple of balls. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. So that was one of the first things that came out of the attic. I also had these bits. There's a Wario Land 2 instruction manual. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. There's also Link's Awakening instruction booklet. There's Pokemon Gold Game Boy Color version. And the Pokemon Trainer's Guide there. And a couple of Lego bits there too, just like instruction manuals, how to build and that sort of thing. There was also this. Ugh. Polly Pocket's Dream World. Just going to see how this is coming out. It's not coming out particularly good, is it, guys? Let's try it from there. Is that any better? Maybe if I tilt it up like this. Polly Pocket's Dream World. Yeah, in, in the box. So, if we have a little look at what we've got inside of here. So, this is the dream world in question. How does that look on the camera? Now oh, it needs to be down a bit. Oh, this is going to be a fiddly one, isn't it? So, we have the dream world there. We also have this too. There's a Polly Pocket playset there. We've also got another Polly Pocket playset here. That one has a little cat and a dog in it. It's like some seashell variety Polly Pocket. We've got these two that look about the same. Oh, that one's just completely empty, that one. And then there's this one, which is full of all the little Polly Pocket bits and pieces that go with the sets. pockets with the bits in there as well and another poly pocket with all animals in it's like a zoo poly thing oh dear my phone is going mad and another poly pocket there a poly pocket mini thing there that's a very small one there again with a poly and a little monkey and all sorts poly pocket ring also got a little poly pocket necklace which inside Ah. Has pretty much nothing. Polly Pocket necklace. And the last Polly Pocket one, don't know what this one is, it looks like a Polly Pocket bracelet or something, and it's got some sort of dog lizard thing floating around in the water. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten extra play sets along with this dream castle. Dream World, yeah. So we got the box, the Dream World, and ten extra play sets. Whether there's anything good in there, these aren't things that I want to keep. Uh, Polly Pocket was never something I had as a kid, so I will be looking to put those on eBay, and I will let you guys know how it goes when I actually sell them. So pop these back in the box very quickly otherwise there's not going to be enough room to get through all the other stuff it seems like we're doing well because we're two boxes through but geez, we have such a long way to go guys so there's these little babies don't know what the story is with them they all seem to have little hearts on the diapers that are all different colors or nappies or whatever so yeah weird creepy doll babies uh, one of the best finds that was for me personally was a complete battle cat in excellent condition uh, pretty much complete skeletal there as well there's he-man before he was he-man i forget his name something like prince adam or something like that i think wasn't it something like that um, 
was that guy? The Cyclops guy, guy with many eyes, Eye Man, I forget. And then there's He Man, as He Man there as well, doing his thing. Also got a Pocahontas Disney doll. Some rubbery dog, which is probably one of those little pet things that the girls used to have when I was growing up. We've got this corgi, dink, no, sorry, dinky hovercraft. Probably not worth very much, but uh, there's the Thunderbolts T2. It does have the inside, and I did pick up the Thunderbird 4 that goes inside it as well, but that's probably in another box somewhere. There's some of these little babies. Now they look like oogles um, or oodles. They were like little baby plastic toys by LJN. Um, but they're not. They're, they're something else, these little babies. They're very small, cheap plastic. And they have these odd translucent pink ones as well. Very strange. So yeah, that's, uh, that's part of another box. Let's start putting these back in somewhere else before they get completely lost. And we'll see what else is at the bottom of this box. So, we have uh, Lego System Paradisa number 6409. Inside, doesn't look like everything on the front cover is inside. However, in the box that it come in, there's loads of Lego. You've got this playset piece here, and another Paradisa set. Looks very different from the other one we got there, I would have said. In fact, that's just a poster. Maybe the poster just came with it. And you've got odd things. It's building with a door. You've got a little corgi toy. Apu. That in. One of those little uh, glow worms. Poke on to sticker. Chubba Chops Pog. One of those, are they raisins or coconuts? I can't remember now. Don't know if that's Polly Pocket or, or what that is. It's like some little sandcastle thing. Another one of those translucent babies. And then the rest, I'm fairly sure, is just their good. You do have an Aliens, Queen Aliens card, a little ghost, it's a little Lego ghost there, Mini Boglin, Man to Four Stella, yeah. and the rest of this box is all Lego. Uh, I think it's the rest of this Paradisa set. So yeah, not a bad little box. Nothing too exciting for me personally. Nothing I was over the moon with. I did like the um, the He-Man stuff. Obviously He-Man's a good thing for me. I like He-Man. I do have quite a lot of He-Man, so balls get traded off or sold on eBay. These ones are in such good condition, I'm probably going to end up keeping those and using them as replacements for my lot. So the next box, got some Manta Force toys, bit dusty, there's a little one there, nothing inside though. This one, again, missing a lot of the inserts, which is a bit of a shame, but the outer shell's still there. And this one, the Red Venom, I really like this one, Red Venom there too. I think this is Man to Force as well, looks like it sort of matches colour wise with this one. So that's all my Man to Force stuff. Haven't seen or picked up any Man to Force for quite a long time now. Last uh, so time I saw one of these, my friend Steve, who runs uh, the local toy shop in Bath, had one. Uh, I also found these. They're an array of Dinky and Corgis. This is a Dinky Toys Chieftain Tank with a 155mm mobile gun. You've also got this one here, which is a Matchbox Battle King 1977 uh, SP Hawk Launcher. So yeah, we've got him there. 
We've then got a Dinky Toys Fodden, Fodden tank there. We've also got a Dinky Toys Meccano Limited, eh? Very strange. Uh, an articulated lorry. Um, yeah, but it does say made by Meccano, which has thrown me a little bit there. Who knows? Uh, then we've got uh, Corky Toys, Saladin Armoured Car, made in Hong Kong. Yeah, that's quite an old one, I can't see date on that one so who knows on that one We've also got this one here dinky toys uh baylet gazelle no year of production looks like it might have fired a missile or something at one point uh you've got this tank here uh corky toys tiger one uh it's missing its tracks there as are mm, probably 90 percent of the tanks so. uh and then we've got a dinky alvis scorpion and striker Again, no idea. This one looks like it's got some sort of lever that you could fire stuff back with, but God knows what. Missing the tracks again. Uh, we then have a Matchbox Super King Hercules Mobile Crane from 1974. Looks like the ends of the cranes come off and got broken, which is a bit of a shame, but considering its age, it's not un unimaginable. Uh, a Dinky Toys Alvis Striker. Again, missing the tracks. Seems to be a theme here, doesn't it? Uh, this is the Shadow 2 Dinky Toys from the UFO series. You also have uh, Corky Jr. Whiz Wheels Land Rover. We have a Matchbox Battle King K102 SP Houtzer 1974. Again, missing the tracks. Then a little Corky Jr. Mac series, Mac R series, God knows. And this little one, uh, Corky Jr.'s Whiz Wheels Willie's Jeep. Then the last one, Mirror, Made in Spain, Escala, 164 scale. God knows that looks more like some dumpster truck than it's war related. Oh, one more. God, they just keep coming. And then a Matchbox Super Fast number 30 Swamp Rat 1976. And it's still got the gunner in there, which is unusual. Normally they've long gone, those gunners. So if I push these up, had two other Corgi or Dinky or Matchbox in. This is a Matchbox Special Zack Speed Mustang from 1983. Uh, it's a bit beaten up, but doesn't look in terrible condition. And all the, so this one, which is a Pole City, a Polshi still, made in Italy, Peugeot 504 GL. I'm not sure, but that one looks very, very good condition. Very good condition indeed. So I, I had to pick that one up just because it looked almost brand new. And yeah, so they were all the dinky toys that I, I acquired from this lot. I'm going to try and put these all back in the bag as quickly as possible, guys. And then we'll start moving on to the next bit. Now, I'd never normally pick these things up at car boot sales because either A, they're just in terrible condition, B, people want stupid money for them, and C, I know nothing about them. But um, trying to help my friend clear her loft out, make her some space, get rid of her kids' old toys, I said I'd, uh, I'd take them and see what I could do. So I have this WCW ring. I'll show you the wrestlers and the parts that go in that later on. It is very damaged on the top. It has had some serious use, this ring. Um, it's just one of those things, isn't it? There's not a lot you can do to bring it back to life, I don't think. But I'll certainly give it a try. There's also this... don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll have to come round and see how the camera picks it up. Yeah, you guys can just see the size of the box. Maybe if I lift this up very slightly, you can see that this entire box is full of Lego. I mean, it's full to the brim with Lego. Absolutely unreal. This is the size of the box. It is massive. Absolutely massive. 
I think there's quite a lot of different playsets in there. They've got most of the instruction manuals. You've got this sort of Lego system stuff. I remember having that one as a kid. You've got a pirate ship looking one there. Loads of little ones of like ghosts and knights. Ghosts and knights. Another pirate ship there. More pirate related stuff. That one's like a dragon in a cage. It's like a pirate island. And then a castle as well. Another sort of pirate island. Another three or four little ones. Spaceships. Wizards and dragons and stuff. Another wizard and dragon. God, there's just so many of these instruction booklets, it's unreal. So that's my box of Lego, guys. Um, there's bound to be loads of sets in there. I tend to see a lot of traders at car boot sales. I tend to pick the Lego up and say that it's a good find. So... Maybe I'll look into that. Um, I'm not into Lego myself, so that's all going to get sold on the eBay as well. Uh, yeah, As I mentioned in my last video, everything's going to have to go on eBay if it's not staying in my collection. Uh, a few books. We had the Codex Angels of Death Warhammer book. Uh, a couple of Fraggle Rock books there. In fact, let me just check that this is coming out okay on the camera. For there, guys. I don't want to be showing you stuff and you guys can't see it. It's like worst case scenario then. There we go. That'll have to do. So, we got the Fraggle Rock books, uh, Walt Disney, the Sorcerer's Apprentice, the Jungle Book and Pinocchio. We also had Aladdin sing-along and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs sing-along books. Uh, it said they had cassettes to go with them, but I couldn't find the cassettes. We also had this really old school looking Minnie Mouse. Never seen one of those. We had this Pog Maker. And five pogs that have been unused, so they were very cool. Make some own pogs at some point. Got a couple of speaking spells. Well, that one's speaking math. That one's a speaking spell, both very old school. Untested as of yet, but we'll soon give them a test. AT manual. Some Jurassic Park stuff. So, yeah, a couple of JP dinosaurs here. And another one there. This one I've been looking for for ages. This is. The original. Hopefully you can hear it. Yeah, I've been wanting one of those for a long time. So we've got a few JP dinosaurs. It's a couple of JP action figures as well, but I'll pull them more out as we go along. So we've got all those. You've got some keepers. One keeper there. Uh, got an alien. There we go. That's an alien I don't have, so he's staying in my personal collection. He's got a very cool feature. I really like that. So, yeah, that is staying with me. Uh, boglin. Always like your boglins. A baby boglin. And then, like, a teenage boglin. So, yeah, three, three boglins. So, chuffed with them. These weird sort of women with these hats. And somehow you can turn them into, like, cupcakes by twisting them inside out and then sticking the lid on the top. I don't know. Cupcake kids, we'll call them. Who knows? This weird little thing that she said was good in the bath. I don't know. No idea what that is. Uh, you've got another dinosaur from Jurassic Park there. And then another one of these cupcake women. God knows if I've got the right hats matched up with them, but who knows? That one's very sparkly. Cupcake girls. You've got Bubble Ghost on the Game Boy. Got a little Range Rover toy there, made by Matchbox. I think that's She-Ra, the Power Princess. Some cheap Matchbox looking toy card there. Some cheap old airplane thing. This Disney 3D View Master, which shows really cool vintage sort of pictures of Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. So yeah, but it was cool that it looks very vintage, that one. Uh, one of the little ball things from the Gremlins. One of the babies. Uh, another one of these cupcake things. Cat's probably still in the box somewhere. Now I tried putting some stuff in bags when I was figuring out what it was and you know, where it was going to go. So in this bag, we've got lots of mini boglins. Loads and loads of mini boglins. Probably at least 30 mini boglins in there. So they'll go with the rest of the boglins. A few more toy cars. 
Some of them are old, like Corgi toys, Speech Buggy, and then other ones look a bit more modern where they say things like, I don't know, Foul Made in Spain miniature series. So yeah, load of weird cheap toys there. Mighty Max, this guy who I think is the new Adventures of He-Man. If anyone could help identify him, I'd be really grateful because I had this one as a kid. It's going to be one I keep, but God knows what he is and what line of toys he's from. We've also got Terminator there. One of those cheap knockoff pirate toys. Timber from the Lion King. And is that Man at Arms from um, He-Man? Not sure. Can't remember his name now. But definitely a He-Man Masters of Universe toy. A bag of goodies in here. This one's all weird cars. There's an old G1 Transformer there, but he's missing a leg and an arm. But he's staying with me. He'll go on display. Got this weird thing here that I don't know what it is. And you've got this weird thing here too. Uh, this weird one here says on the back of him something along the lines of Kenner Parker Toys 1989. Uh, I don't know what it is. These look very similar. I wouldn't be surprised if the two of them were from the same line. You've also got this Buick Regal from Corgi, which has unfortunately been repainted. does have the backseat guy in there who's meant to look like he shoots a gun, uh, but it's lost the driver, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, then there's another Corgi car, some sort of racing car, a uh, Corgi, no, a Dinky submarine toy, and Thunderbirds 1 as well. So all sort of weird Corgi, Dinky knockoff toys that I should probably be more enthusiastic about, but I'm just not. You've got another she or the Power Princess or whatever her name is, some weird fluffy little thing that says 1987 Hasbro don't think it's a keeper, but it might be because it looks like it twists around at the bottom. Who knows? I don't know what that is. Sounds like it might even have money in it or something. Have to investigate that later on. Uh, man at Arms. Oh, it was Man at Arms. Little He-Man card. A couple of uh, Mighty Max were in there. There's a little Care Bear toy. You've got a little Stingray thing there. You've got some really old school looking Transformer. We've got another Keeper there, which sounds like there's actually something inside it, but don't know what's inside it. Looks like a key to another Keeper, perhaps. This guy from Pirates of Dark Water. A few cassettes. Winnie the Pooh cassette, a Jungle Book cassette, and an Alice in Wonderland cassette. You also got this dude. I don't know who this guy is or what line of toys he's from, so if anyone knows that one, I'd really appreciate it. It does say Kenner Toys, made in China, Warner Brothers, so I'm thinking it's more than likely going to be uh, maybe Robin Hood or something like that. Another little random toy there. This one's very cool. Might one of the trash bag bunches that I don't have in literally mint condition, so chuff with that. Made in Britain, sort of soldier guy there, what they call beef eaters. Uh, here's the bits for the ring with the WCW ring. So you've got the cage there, the ropes. There's like a little sound system thing there too. And it also came with a few action figures. It had Sting, British Bulldog, I forget his name. Ultimate Warrior, forget his name. Forget this guy's name, forget that guy's name. That's Jake the Snake. I forget that name too. It says what, two, four, six, eight, nine of those um, wrestlers and the rings. Again, no interest in WWF stuff. They'll be going straight on eBay. A uh, little Mighty Max toy there as well. We got this nice bag here, which is full of ring raiders. I think that's what they're called. Uh, I got sent some from Jeff Solo, or I found some, and Jeff Solo identified them. I haven't seen too many of these around. Yeah, they're the Skull Squadron mainly, but you do have a few of these Ring Raiders, but most of them are Skull Squadron. Uh, yeah, there's loads of them, um, and they have not only the rings, but also the, the little planes to go with them. So, yeah, that was great. I was happy to find those. Picked all them up, chucked them in a bag. That was that. Uh, there's a visionary in here somewhere, and here's the staff that goes with it. Uh, there's a couple of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys bits here. There's like a shredder belt buckle thing, and a uh, Raphael stick-on piece there as well. So I'll certainly be keeping those, definitely like the look of those. You've got a few more toys, you've got this weird Viper thing, this weird like tractor dumper truck thing. 
and this little red car of some description there. Red arrow plane, another weird toy car, more crappy toy cars, more crappy toy cars. But because they've got some age, I'll probably stick them all as a job lot. Uh, get rid of all these in one bundle, get rid of all the tanks and whatnot in one bundle, and just be done with it. Got a couple more cassettes here. Uh, Care Bears and the Carnival Procession, Disney's The Rescuers, and Talking Stories Keepers. Uh, so yeah, I've tried to pick up anything that relates to other things so that I can do a job lot of keepers, including cassette, see what they'll go for. Uh, there's also a few books here. You've got Hercules, the sticker book, but it's certainly not complete by a long way. The Jurassic Park Annual, Walt Disney's The Fox and the Hound, and the WWF Wrestling official book. I might stick this in as with the uh, the figures when I list it on eBay. That's pretty cool. All pretty old school there. So we like that. We got another one of those cheap pirates, another Alvin and the Chipmunks. There's a little Timon from Timon and Pumba. There's the hat from that little cupcake thing. We've also got this weird little thing, which I'm assuming is Manta Force. So I'm going to stick that in with the Manta Force job lot. You got this, which was the only Ghostbusters thing in the entire lot. Uh, another little toy car, another little toy car, some sort of G1 Transformer that's a Decepticon but in knackered shape, literally missing loads of bits, which is a shame. We've got a Gladiator there. There's the uh, Visionary to go with the staff. We've also got another red plane. You've got this weird sort of Nintendo Entertainment System playing card with a tip on how to complete Legends of Zelda. Very strange. You've got a little Simpsons coin first thing there too. You've got a little red car and some sort of thing that gets dragged around by a tractor. Another little car there too. Uh, Marvel Falcon card of some description. This, which I really need some help with, guys, is like a mask, a top hat, a cape. Yeah, it, it's all from something, but there's no maker's mark on it. Must be off of some other item, but yeah, who knows. So there's a few things I need your help with again, guys, as always. Don't know it all, so need the help. There's a few Jurassic Park bits at the bottom here. There's some little dolly woman with like horrible lacy hair, yeah, like that. I've got these micro machines. Uh, most of the time I just pick up micro machines without looking. These ones are very cool because they've got the Joker's van and the little Batmobile as well. So yeah, try to find those. Picked all the micro machines up, put them in a bag. Took them home with us. we got a coin of a Triceratops. These come with PG tips. You've got another mini Boglin, which has escaped from the other batch, and another micro machine that's escaped from the other batch. Some tiny little bow. We got Sheer Khan, or whatever his name is, from the Lion King. Another little toy car. Another little American gladiators. Some dinosaur with a top hat and a fluffy back. Yeah, who knows? That's the randomness of the 90s for you there, guys. We've also got a fair few of these Manta Force figures in here. Don't know if you can make it out, but yeah, there's quite a few in there. Probably at least 15, I would have said. So I did pick up considerably more of them at the car boot. This is an Ecto-1 squeezy toy, but unfortunately all of the paints pretty much come off it, so I didn't even realise it was the Ecto-1 at first. We've got a little Warhammer toy. They had quite a lot of Warhammer toys. I've left most of them back there. There's a little metal tank. Really weird. Metal bottom, rubber top, nothing on there to say what it is. A uh, little plastic bit, which I imagine comes off one of the Manta Force bits over there. In fact, I can see where it does now. You've got this Pokemon Chubba Chops lollipop with the sticker still inside. But luckily the sweet is gone. Another Jurassic Park mini toy there. Little micro, uh, what are they called? Mighty Max toy. These odd plastic bits, which I don't know what they match up with. You've got this little robot who came with Playmobil, but I had him as a kid and I really liked him, so I was happy to find him again. Uh, Jurassic Park is there. This is from some sort of Fisher-Price hospital set thing. God knows. You've got a load of monsters in my pocket here as well. Probably at least 15 or 20 in there. Mixed ones. You've got the wrestlers, you've got the dinosaurs, and then you've got some of the scary looking ones that are a bit more plain. Got three Mighty Maxes here. This one, which I've never had before, this Mighty Max. Uh, it's really strange. It looks like a Frankenstein one, and there's a bloke inside with an axe that looks like he's locked inside some sort of, I don't know, uh, yeah, 
who knows, and a couple of other mind maps that I've got like loads of. Um, this, which was some sort of like collectible game that you used to get when I was a kid, I forget what they are now. It says Thor Kell on the bottom, but uh, I had a few of those, but not that one. A uh, card for a mini Boglin, some sort of like handheld alien, probably to go with the other alien, a little bit to go with a Mighty Max, another arm for the Terminator, some random gun, uh, is that Baloo from the Jungle Book, some other weird crappy toy car, a uh, Super Mario badge, a bullet for something, uh, a staff from Lego, another piece from... Jurassic Park, some cool Donatello card that'll stay on the wall, some Nintendo car about Starwig, God knows, Toad Slippy, a Pokemon Mew sticker that's still shiny, that's pretty cool, um, uh, oh wow, an Ultimate Warrior trading card, that's awesome, tells you all about the Ultimate Warrior, um, a Submarina Marvel card, you also got a couple of My Pet Aliens, I got four of these, um, I know for certain at least three of them I've got, I've got those three. I might not have that one. I have to double check. But I've definitely got the purple hedgehog, the football, and the alien chef. But yeah, always happy to find my pet aliens. Don't see enough of them at the car boots and whatnot. Uh, this little bag here contains. Oh, wicked! More Terminator stuff. Uh, this one with his gun, but missing his face. This one's very cool. I like that one. And then this is the one that came with a set where you had to put the flesh on and then peel it off. Uh, hopefully someone knows what I'm talking about there, guys, because otherwise it will just sound like absolute nonsense. So then we've got another little bag here. This is full of, like, G1 Transformers. At least I think they're G1s. They're certainly um, older style ones. They're the really small ones. Unfortunately, that one's missing his arm. That one's missing a big chunk of the front of him there. That one's in pretty good nick, missing part of the front there, actually, so maybe not. Uh, this one's pretty good. He looks like um, a airplane, and he's purple and black, so clearly a Decepticon. You got this little car fella here. He's very cool. It says Hasbro 1988 on him. You got another cool little dude there. I think he just turns into a gun by the look of things. Doesn't look like he transforms very much at all. Just becomes a gun. Um, but hey ho, there you go. Uh, then there's another little orange truck thing there. A little yellow car. And a little red minivan as well. So they're my little sort of transformer finds. We're happy to find transformers wherever we go. Always happy to find transformers. We've got a little Batmobile there. It looks a bit beat up, but it's okay. There's something you can twist there, which I imagine is meant to do something. But what it's meant to do, I don't know. So little Batmobile. On the bottom, it says... Um, the Batmobile National Publications, Inc. from Corgi Toys. No year on there at all, though, so God knows whether that's original or repeat. This thing, which I'm sure um, Rabbit was talking about the other day. Are they gummy bears or something like that? I forget what they're called now. Uh, definitely by Disney. It says 1998, 1996, something like that. I don't know, 1986? Can't make it out. Got a little plastic My Little Tony toy, might be a knockoff thing, a little Matchbox trailer, another little Matchbox trailer, there's Thunderbird 4 that I promised you, um, then you've got, who's that, Robin Hood, from the Robin Hood films, yeah I think so, another one of those creepy women with long hair, you've got a Vaporeon key ring there, we've also got this weird thing that's like a lipstick, but if you actually look inside the lipstick there's some weird little tiny, naked fairies, I don't know, that's weird, fairy lipstick thing, don't know what the crack is with that, this thing, don't know what this thing is either, it's got some horrific face on the top of it there, uh, if anyone can help me identifying that, I'd be very grateful, don't know what that is, what it goes with, there's another mini boglin that's escaped, and another mini boglin that's escaped, a little Lego figure that must have escaped, you got a Mewtwo sticker there, a glow-in-the-dark Tyrannosaurus Rex piece that was from Serial, some random arm of some description, uh, I think that's He-Man's um, shield there, and a weapon from a He-Man toy there as well, I believe, not 100% sure. Uh, there's a little Mighty Max villain there, and again, some random weapon, don't know what that is. There's some sort of, like, peanut rodent thing, 
another piece of a set there, that's from Jurassic Park, another little Lego man, another three glowworms here as well, little plastic glowworm things, clearly glow in the dark, but I don't know how pretty they'd actually look, and then just a couple of instruction manuals that go with the Lego. So, as you can see guys, there was quite a lot to be found in this uh, whole video. Uh, I had to rush through it quick because there was just so much of it. My battery life is going and it takes me forever to seem to upload videos of this length. Um, I will be going back to collect whatever's left that they want to get rid of. Uh, but until then, guys, this will have to do you. Oh, wait, no, it won't because I've got a car boot haul video on the way as well. So as soon as this is done uploading, we'll start uploading another one. Sorry about the phone going off, guys. Lots of people seem to be messaging me for some silly reason. But there we go. Never mind. Anyway, here we go. Uh, enjoy the video, guys. Stay tuned for information on what sells, what doesn't sell, and more car boot haul videos. Peace, guys. Take care.